All right, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Sasano. Uh, I have a little story for you guys today. So this is going to be the story of the time that I got suspended. Before we start this story, I just want to tell you some background information. One, I was in the seventh grade. I was about 12 years old, 13 years old, something like that. This is not who I am anymore. Like, I don't get in trouble ever. Seventh grade me, ba basically seventh grade was my slack off here. Like, I did no homework the entire year. I think I barely passed every test. And I still ended up getting 80s in all my classes. Like, I was not expecting those grades at all. The setting of this story is in our cafeteria. And in middle school, like, the whole grade basically went down to the cafeteria one period. And we all sat in the cafeteria as a whole grade, like with tables and shit. And you sat at your own table and that's where you sat the whole year. So for some reason, me and the group of people that I was sitting with, we had two tables and we didn't sit the tables like separately. We basically took all of our chairs and sat in like the part in between them. And we'd all sit in like a weird ass circle and just talk the entire period. It was lit. That's basically any, all the background you need to know. So this day was a day in January, unlike any other. Well, it was really like any other. Except for the fact we were all sitting in our little circle, we were all talking, and this kid, I'm not gonna say any names, but this kid comes up to our circle, and this kid sort of wears his pants around his knees. Most of you are probably familiar with the term sag. I can say sag, I can get away with it. But this kid basically sags like every day of middle school, and he decides, hey, it's a great idea to jump into this circle where a bunch of kids are sitting minding their own business and dance obviously middle school this would have been funny honestly i would have laughed if i wasn't in a situation the problem with this kid was that he was dancing the other way like his face was not towards me so basically because he was sagging i got a full moon of his cheeks not really of his underwear and i did not want to see that being the seventh grader that i was I decided it would be a funny idea to pants him in front of all my friends. I wanted people to laugh, I wanted it to be funny. It wasn't such a great idea. It was so funny how fast this kid turned around, looked at me, and he goes, I'm telling the Dean. Like he went from hardcore kid to snitch like in seconds, it was so funny. At this time, the Dean of our school was the former Dean of our high school. And this dude was scary. He was so, like, built. Like, I was scared of this kid. Little me? Oh my god, forget it. A minute later, I see the Dean and this little kid hiding behind him. Like his child. It was the funniest thing. The Dean... Now, I was in fear at the time. So the Dean looks at me. He goes, you. And I was like, shit. <laughs> and he goes, come with me. I'm like, it's over for my life. And this was literally, like, the first time, like in my life that I've been in the principal's office for getting in trouble. And he goes, he goes, I need you to fill out this sheet. Gets up, walks out. Like nothing happened. I was like, oh my God. Just walks out like it was nothing. And he goes, I want this sheet filled out when I get back. I'm like, all right. So I fill out the sheet and he comes back. And he takes the sheet. He goes, okay, come with me. I'm like, now where are we going? Takes me to the assistant principal's office. I didn't know the assistant principal, so I thought I was screwed. Turns out that the assistant principal happened to be my brother's algebra teacher like three years back. So she knew me already. And she goes, wait, what are you doing here? I'm like, hmm? The second that I found out that she knew me, I was like, I have a chance. Like, I can maybe get out of this. So we have a little conversation and she does this weird thing. She goes, all right, I'm going to send you back to class. I'm like, wait, what? In my head, I'm like, I got out of this. I'm safe. I did my part. No, that is literally the complete opposite of what happened. I'm trying to focus and I'm trying to play COD. That's the first time I'm doing this, like, face cam type shit. I cannot do this. My brain cannot function. So there I am sitting in class, basically hyperventilating because I'm scared that I'm going to get suspended or they're going to call my mom. Two periods go by. It is now eighth period. And eighth period was the eighth and final period of the day. There was like 20 limits left. I'm sitting in my art class like I'm probably safe. I didn't know. I didn't know. So then over the loudspeaker, I hear my name come to the office. So I go down, I go down to the office and there she is again. And she goes, okay, she sits me down 
little me, I am almost in hysteria. I am almost at the point of tears. That's how scared that I was. She goes, okay, we're going to have to suspend you for a day. So what you do, she basically told me where to go and what I had to do. It was a day and I thought it was the end of the world. Like I was going to get my ass kicked. So now it's the next day. It's my time for suspension. It was weird in the sense that the assistant principal told me to show up at the place I was supposed to show up at three. School was over by like 2.30. So I was like, why am I showing up after school? I go there. The school is basically let out and there's a person waiting at the door and they say, are you here for suspension? I'm like, yeah. They're like, okay, follow me. So we walk toward in this elementary school towards the library and the person goes, okay. So here's how suspension works. You sit here for three hours. If I see you on your phone, I can maybe write you up for more su suspension. So just don't be on your phone and you can do whatever you want. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> so suspension starts after school and it is less time than school. And I don't even have to do any work. In my head, I'm like, the fuck, okay. So this is literally what I did for three hours. I did that little trick that all people do with their phones where they take the wire and go up their shirt through their arm and they lie down on the table like this. That was me for like three hours reading a quote unquote book. That's basically what I did. That's all I had to do. Literally all I did. Once the three hours done, she goes, okay, you're free to go. I was like, okay. Walk out, nothing happened. What? Like, I thought when you get suspended, it's this whole thing or you got to sit in school the whole day and do like, just sit there for hours doing nothing and you're bored out of your mind. No, it was a shorter day than school. And all I did was listen to music and read a book. Seventh grade me was like, hell, suspensions like this, I'm gonna do this more often, get out of school. Now this, I, I just wanna say that if you're planning on doing this just so you get out of school, don't get suspended. Don't be an idiot like me. That was seventh grade me, I changed, okay? That's literally all that happened. It wasn't this whole big thing. It wasn't like I got in trouble. I got to see everyone. I didn't have to apologize to the kid. I just saw him on Monday. And I was like, hey, thanks, dick. He's like, all right. <laughs> Literally just went about our day like nothing happened. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a couple of clips saved for the end of this video. If you guys want to stay and watch them, it's just some stuff that I've been saving on my computer recently. If you guys do enjoy these story videos and you want me to tell any more stories in the future, leave a like. If you want to hear me talk about anything else, not just stories, then comment down below. And if you're new, it's always nice to leave a subscribe button. Thank you guys for so much support recently, and peace.